Hi there friends, so I'm here today with a bit of a workwear haul for you. If you don't already know, I'm going to be in New York City this summer doing an internship at a PR firm. So I had to get some clothes to be able to wear to my internship because I've never really had a um, steady job like this before because I am working three days a week. And then I also have a class that's doing visits to other offices and stuff. So I will need to be dressed businessy for those as well. So basically I need four days a week worth of business clothes. So I had to go shopping. So. What I got is from H&M, Loft, Target, and Charming Charlie's, which is kind of a small store that has mostly jewelry and shoes and bags, but also some clothing. Um, so if you have any questions about what I bought, please put your questions in the um, comments below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. So, let's start. I want to start with what I bought at Ann Taylor Loft because it's just one item. Um, I actually looked at a pair of pants that I really liked, but they didn't have them in my size, which was really sad, but I may go back and try and get them. But what I purchased was, let's see if I can get it. This shirt, it just buttoned down the front and it has these front pockets with little buttons. Um, it's in this really beautiful maroon color, which I really love, but they had it in several different colors. I just thought that this was super versatile because you can wear it with black or navy. Um, and it was originally $45, but I got it on sale for $20. I'm not sure if those promotions are still going on, but which is a very reasonable price. And even $45 isn't bad. It's really nice because it will wash nicely and will not need iron, which is a big thing because I don't know if I'm going to have an iron or not. So I'm looking for shirts that don't necessarily need iron for me to wear them. So I'm very excited about this shirt. I think it looks great with pants or with skirts, and I can't wait to wear it. Moving on to what I got at Target. I actually want to start with a pair of shoes. Now, I love Target shoes. Um, I actually think that they're typically very comfortable and fairly well made for what you pay for them. These flats were, it does not say, I think they were like 25, I'm not positive though. Um, and they're these lace-up flats in this beautiful brown leathery color. Um, and they just lace up and tie right around your ankle. And I think they look so nice with pants or with skirts. I think they would also look really nice with jeans, especially if you just turn the bottom up. I cannot wait to wear these. Honestly, everything I've been trying on, I think they would look good with. Um, they're really comfortable. I did go up a size. I typically wear a six, but these are a seven. Um, but I just think that they're lovely and I hope that they hold up well because I can definitely see myself wearing these all summer long. The next thing that I got from Target is a top, which is currently unbuttoned. Let me fix that. Um, and this top is from the Morona, I think is how you say it, line, which is kind of their like workwear-ish, um, kind of more adulty <laughs> clothes, if that makes sense. It's this beautiful pattern. I really like it because it can be worn with black or navy, and it's a bit more interesting though than just a solid color. And this was just $22.99, so not a terrible price. So I'm very excited to wear this with both pants and um, skirts. It is um, really nicely done on the sides here, so it does look nice untucked. The next thing I got is a dress. It did come from the like junior section. It's by Exhilaration, but it honestly doesn't look like a Target dress at all to me. It's got this beautiful mix of patterns. So the main one is like this, and then the sides have this on them, and the back panel has the main um, print as well. And then it's just a slight v-neck. Um, and a sleeveless uh, sleeve on it, and I think it's just beautiful. The bottom um, is a little bit higher on the sides than in the front and back, and it just looks so nice on. It kind of dips in at the waist, and I think it'll look really, really put together with a blazer and a heel, but then also something you could totally wear out to dinner afterwards. And it was free. Oh. <laughs> it was just $24.99, so I just couldn't pass it up. I got another top. I got another really nice top, which is from the Who What Wear line um, for Target, and it's a beautiful line. Definitely check it out if you have a Target near you. And it's just this black, super structured, like t-shirty type top. It's a little bit longer in the back, and it's absolutely beautiful. I have a pair of kind of silky pattern pants that I cannot wait to wear this with. I think it's beautiful. I think I would even wear it with jeans and a pretty necklace to class in the fall. Um, and I cannot wait to wear this because the fabric is just lovely and it was $22.99. And finally, I just picked up two tank tops that were $10 each from the Morona section. They are so soft and swingy. They're just a slight v-neck, um, but still appropriate for the office, and they're kind of rounded at the bottom. I got one in this white with black stripes, and then also 
in black and I just think that these are going to be super nice for pairing with pants or tucking into skirts and then um, putting a blazer on top of because um, especially because I'm going to be somewhere where it's kind of hot over the summer that way I can carry my blazer with me work and wear this and not worry about getting overheated and then put it on whenever I actually get to the office. So moving on from what I got at Target, I want to show you what I got from Charming Charlie's, um, which like I said is kind of a, it almost seems like a boutique-y type shop, but they are a chain. Um, the first thing I got are these beautiful shoes. I saw these shoes, I fell in love with them, and I decided to try them on even though they didn't have a 6, which is my normal size, so these are a 7, but I'm lucky in that a 7 can sometimes fit me. Typically shoes like this don't ever fit me because I have a really wide foot, but I decided to try them and they fit, they are beautiful. They've got this mix of um, pink and kind of nude colored leather. They've got a heel that's you know quite substantial, even though it is high, so that I'm not worried about walking them. And the gold buckle. They are open-toed, so they're not um, suitable maybe for all offices, but if you're in more of a creative industry, um, especially during the summer, whenever things are a little more relaxed, I think you could totally get by with wearing these to some offices. Um, certainly if you're in a creative industry then these would probably work for some occasions and I just couldn't pass them up because they are perfect. I think also for transitioning something from the office to going out for drinks or dinner afterwards, just pop these on and you're totally ready for some summer fun. Oh, and they were just $29, which isn't bad for a heel of this quality. Moving on to some jewelry, my favorite thing that I got might be this watch. It has a white kind of leathery wristband but the face of it has flowers on it and then a butterfly on the kind of hand of it. Um, I hope that you can see that. I hope so. And it was just $18, which isn't too bad for a watch. And I didn't really want to take my nice watch to New York this summer, so this is going to be a perfect substitute. And I like it because it looks professional, but it's still girly, which is kind of my style. I also picked up a necklace um, because I wanted something that would pair nicely with a lot of my shirts. And, okay, let's see if I can get it ready. There we go. Um, and this is, I just think, beautiful. It's got the silver and the fake pearls and the fake diamonds. Um, it lays fairly high up on the neck. I just think it's beautiful, especially with, like, that black, um, really tailored, but, um, or really structured, like, t-shirty type top from Who, What, Wear. Um, I just think it's going to be absolutely beautiful with dresses and different shirts. And I can't wait to wear it. And it was... $18. So the next thing I want to show you um, is the first of two dresses that I got. This is a black kind of chiffon -y, silky dress. It's beautiful. It's just got a fairly high crew neckline and then it's kind of got some pleats. It does have an underdress to it so you don't have to worry about anything showing through and I just think it's absolutely lovely. It looks really nice belted with either a pink belt or a leopard print belt or um, whatever color you would like and this was $29. And I think it's nice stuff that you could wear it to the office, um, depending on what shoes you pair with it, but then you could also wear it to a special event. And finally, the last thing I got from Charming Ch Charlie's, that's hard to say, Charming Charlie's, um, was a shirt dress, and I've been looking for the perfect shirt dress. I love this green um, color, and I just think it's a perfect shirt dress. It looks just like this. Um, I really like that it has this thing here that covers the buttons because that way even if the buttons are gaping a little, which can happen if you're larger chested, um, you're still kind of covered up there. And it has pockets, which makes me so excited about a dress where there's pockets in it. And it was on sale, I think partially because the belt from it is missing, but it was on sale for just $15, so I could not get it. Alright, and just to finish up, I wanted to show you what I got at H&M. Um, I went and did a bit of a shopping spree there because they have actually some really nice workwear, especially if you're looking for just basics and some nice tops and you don't want to spend a ton of money. Um, one reason that I wanted to film this haul was just to show that it is possible to buy some really nice pieces for work without going to somewhere like J. Crew or um, Ann Taylor or The Limited and spending a lot of money on it. Um, because I actually went to some of those places like Ann Taylor and J. Crew and tried to find pants because I realized that I needed a dress pant, wanted something ankle cropped, and I wasn't able to find anything I liked there, but I did find something at H&M for much cheaper. So it's really nice because you can get a lot more clothing for your money, um, and it's still fairly nicely made. So starting with my favorite piece, which isn't the most practical thing, but it is definitely my favorite, it is this dress. It's from one of H&M's more luxurious lines, um, and it's got this beautiful pattern on it. 
and it just has a really structured top that comes into a um, gathered together waist and then flows out into kind of an A-line skirt. It does have pockets, which makes me love it even more. Um, and then it just zips down the back and it has this nice thing covering the zipper. It's really well made. Actually, it seems very quality. Um, and it was $49.99, so it's a bit pricey for H&M, but still nothing compared to what you might pay for something like this at um, Ann Taylor or The Limited or another more upscale store like that. So I think it is definitely worth it, and I'm absolutely in love with this and cannot wait to wear. All right, so moving on, these are the pants I was talking about. They're their um, slacks, and they are a super stretch, high elasticity shape that lasts, it says. Um, they're fairly high-waisted, which is part of what I loved about them. They have a zipper on the side and a button to close them, so they close on the side instead of the front. But they do have belt loops, and then they come down to a fairly slim leg, and then the ankle is tapered in, and um, it has the nice like split on the side, and it is like a cropped ankle, and it's really nice because it even is on me, and I'm quite short at 5'3"-ish. Um, so it's really nice whenever something actually is cropped on me. I don't know how it would fit you if you were taller, but I think these are really lovely. So I got them in the black and also in the navy. They had them in a bunch of different colors and even in some patterns. I went for black and navy because they're the most practical, um, but at the price of $14.99, I think that you could totally splurge on a less practical color. For me, it was just a concern of having um, a really small dorm room that I'm going to be staying in with another uh, friend of mine and also getting everything to and from New York. But if I was just working at um, home over the summer, I would definitely have bought them in even more colors because it's a great deal. They actually feel amazing. They're really comfortable, but they still look really nice on. I swear I'm not sponsored by H&M. I just really love these pants. Okay, so a few more things. First of all, I got this beautiful circle skirt. It's really swingy, has a little zipper up the back, but you can kind of just pull it on and up. I really like it because it's, I don't know if you can tell, but it's a nice material. It's not just cotton. It's, let's see, what are you made out of? Shell, like mm, viscose polymene, I don't know. It looks nice, basically. Um, and it looks very swingy and professional whenever you wear it. And I'm not really one for pencil skirts. I don't think that they flatter me all that much, but circle skirts do. And I think the, all the blouses that I've gotten, um, I can tuck into this and they'll look really nice, but it also will be really useful in kind of my off work wardrobe as well. And it was just $14.99. And finally, I bought two shirts. The first of which is this beautiful green shirt, which I think they had in other colors as well. It just looks like this, it's got a little sleeve on the sides. I love this pleating, if you can see it, on the top of each shoulder. And then buttons down the front with just a slight v-neck. Um, oh, it's actually made um, of almost 70% recycled polyester. So it's like their um, eco-friendly line, I guess. It was $24.99 and I just think it's so flattering on. It looks great with the black pants but I also would totally wear it with just jeans or shorts um, whenever I'm not at work. So, always nice whenever you can find something that works in your work wardrobe, but you also would want to wear on the weekends or after work um, for going out with friends or going to do fun things, because then you feel like you're getting more out of your clothing. I think that this is one of the most flattering tops I have ever owned. Um, this has just this beautiful floaty sleeve, it's got buttons up the front um, and a lot of pleating that makes it look really flattering. It kind of nips in at the waist. It looks beautiful um, just with a pair of pants or tucked into that skirt. Um, I think it's a really gorgeous outfit. It's another one of the like um, eco-conscious ones and this one is 55% recycled polyester, which is good. Obviously it's not perfect, but I think it's a step in the right direction. It was $24.99, which is a bit pricey for H&M maybe, but like I said before, compared to what you would pay for a shirt like this at somewhere else, not a bad deal. And it's got this beautiful pleating in the back as well that makes it look beautiful back there. So that's what I had to show you for this workwear haul. I hope that you liked seeing it all and maybe it helped you with some ideas if you're also looking to buy some clothing for work, um, whether you're building your wardrobe or just updating yours. 
Um, if you'd like to see some lookbooks maybe or um, a blog post on how to put together some of these outfits or what I'll be wearing, do let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, do subscribe. I upload every Sunday, um, or at least I try to. I typically do make it. And as I said, I will be in New York this summer, so there should be some really cool blogs. Vlogs? No, some really cool vlogs of what I'll be up to. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.